Lorraine Kelly, 63, acknowledged she had used the wrong terminology after she took to Twitter to react to what she branded as the end of an era for Ken Bruce. Earlier today, the BBC veteran presenter announced on air that he would be leaving the broadcaster after three decades presenting the Radio 2 morning weekday show. Sharing a news article reporting on Ken's departure, Lorraine revealed she was really sad about the announcement. In view of her 731,900 Twitter followers, Lorraine wrote, This is too much. I draw the line, Ken Bruce is the best presenter on radio anywhere in the world. The ITV host continued, He is kind funny, wise and warm and I am really sad about this. End of an era. You will be sorely missed young man. However, STV News presenter Gordon Cree chimed in to correct Lorraine on her use of the word and, explaining that he considered it a move instead. He tweeted, more of a move elsewhere than the end. Lorraine soon backtracked, true. But still sad to see him leave Radio 2. But Lorraine was not the only broadcaster to pay tribute to Ken's extensive career. Zoe Ball and Dan Walker have led a series of emotional tributes to King Ken on social media. Radio 2's Zoe Ball shared a sweet picture of the two of them hugging on Twitter as she wrote, King Ken. The Bruce, the pop master, my dear radio neighbor and the champion of champions. I will miss our coffee machine chats my friend. Good luck with the next adventure. We love you to bits at Real Ken Bruce. Sick, while Dan Walker penned, Ken Bruce leaving Radio 2. Going on his show to do tracks of my years was a massive highlight. Thanks for being brilliant for so long at Real Ken Bruce. The true pop master. Sick, Rylan Clark wrote, Ken Bruce. A beautiful man who's always been so lovely to me at, at Radio 2. Going to be so missed on air, but personally I'll miss having a beer in a foreign country discussing anything and everything whilst at Eurovision. Thanks for always being so lovely. Sick, Joe Wiley gushed, date times are going to feel very different from here on in. Going to miss you big time at Real Ken Bruce Broadcasting Titan. King Ken of the Airwaves. King Ken of Eurovision, added Richie Anderson. The pop master himself. But most importantly, the loveliest and kindest man in radio. Meanwhile, Ken said about his departure, Nothing stays the same forever and I have decided the time is right for me to move on from Radio 2 when I reach the end of my current contract in March. It's been a tremendously happy time for me, I've made many friends and worked with many wonderful colleagues. However I feel that after 45 years of full-time broadcasting on BBC Radio it's time for a change. I would stress that this is entirely my decision but some new opportunities have come up and I would like to continue my career in a slightly different way in the next few years, the details of which will be revealed shortly.